All right, there's just a few minutes left. According to the controller here, it says uh, about 10 minutes. And you can see it's almost complete. We just have uh, the uh, three fingers there left to print. Uh, this has been a very long print all day. Uh, pretty much uh, shows here, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, so about 10 hours, 10 hour print. And uh, let's go real quickly over the setup here. Let me back off here. This is an open, uh, I guess an open air kind of. Uh, I had to assemble a small uh, cardboard box. I don't know if you can tell that. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that. This is just a basic uh, box, uh, cardboard box, uh, Home Depot. And it's sitting next to a window right here. And you see the uh, filament. Let's go ahead and grab this out of the way. This is the filament right here uh, being loaded from the top and it's closed off uh, other than just where the opening of the holder comes through. The filament goes around to the side here, right here, and then in to, to where the extruder is. There is a fan in that far left corner there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's see if we can grab this light. And you can see there's a little red fan there in the corner, and it's uh, blowing air out uh, out a window that's uh, right there on the the back of the box there but the only purpose of the box uh, it isn't to heat uh, the uh, printer environment uh, as I mentioned in the description above it's only here to pull away the fumes this being uh, uh, ABS it does create fumes when it's heated you can see here that the uh, temperature is at 240 that's on the nozzle and right there you can see that the bed is not heated and it's indicating right there let's look at it about 28 degrees Celsius all right so let's go ahead and go up here to a thermostat that I have plugged in there uh, it's set indicating the top of the box is 25 uh, 26 Celsius let's go ahead and turn that to Fahrenheit and it's about uh, 78 that that's normal room temperature and so basically the box itself is not heated at all. It did, didn't need to be heated. And the only reason I have the box is to collect the fumes and, and eject them out the, the back window there. Um, normally maybe if I wore a gas mask or something like that, I wouldn't need the box at all. Uh, I would literally just wear a mask and, and let it uh, print normally. Um, I did print ABS uh, at work, which is an open air environment, so I didn't need the box at all. But being here uh, at the house, uh, I need to at least collect as much of the uh, toxic fumes uh, from heating the, uh, the filament right here. This is being heated in the nozzle right there. And uh, so anyway, that's the only reason I have the box. Uh, normally it would be set up as my printers always set up. It would have the uh, filament there on the side. Uh, it would be going through the plastic extruder uh, into the Bowden tube and down uh, into the uh, uh, hot end itself. So there's nothing fancy about it, nothing uh, out of the ordinary in my, uh, my world of 3D printing. But uh, you can see here there's no warping, uh, no separation from the print from the bed, no raft, no brim, no messy Elmer's goo stick or anything. You can see this is... Uh, how uh, all my printers print and I print PLA uh, all the time and uh, ABS was just a, a test to see if it could do it and it is and you can see for yourself so you don't need to you know take my word for any of this uh, it's literally open um, again the only reason I have the framework here the only reason I have this box is to uh, to ventilate the uh, fumes outside all right so it's working great but as I said, if I wore just a basic gas mask, uh, you know, to, to, so I wouldn't have to breathe any of the fumes at all, this box wouldn't be here at, at all. It wouldn't even be required. So there you go. Um, I don't know what else to say here other than what you can actually see. We'll look at the temperature again. It's uh, uh, 240 on the nozzle and the bed itself is non-heated. It's a, it's a non-heated bed. It's not required. Um, I don't know how else to show you that this is just how my printers print and ABS uh, works just as well apparently. I mean it looks clean, I like the print, it's soft looking. Uh, the ABS does print a little different in its quality, the look of it. It's actually kind of a pastel, uh, kind of a soft uh, look to it. 
Um, PLA would print it exactly the same way. Uh, the only difference was I didn't have to have the nozzle uh, as hot at uh, 210 for PLA. And I also have the little piece of blue high temp filament right here. This is the way that I can keep the uh, white Bowden tube clear of the nozzle. So you put a tiny piece of uh, blue uh, filament or blue uh, Bowden tube right in there. You have to have the little O-ring up here, the, the, the little ring, so that filament can go through, but not this white Bowden tube. So basically the white Bowden tube stops about right here on the coupler. The coupler threads in and holds a little ring, a little PLA uh, a ring right just below the, the coupler, and it presses firmly against the blue uh, Bowden tube, which then presses firmly against the nozzle. So that's where the gap that usually appears gets sealed. There'd be no gap because it's a, it's a, it's a locked in place, all right? So it's, it's captured. So basically I can take that Bowden tube out of there and it would still be captured. So if you ever saw my video on how that works, it's basically the coupler threaded in pushing on a ring with a hole in it and then it pushes on the blue piece of uh, 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 Bowden tube which it, it takes the heat, the excess heat that it's printing at and touching the nozzle. That's it. So that's basically the whole setup. This is how my printers print. There's no direct drive. There's no bullshit. Still using the white tube because it works. It's got a much bigger or it's got a normal size inside diameter. The blue Bowden tube has a smaller inside diameter, which causes excess friction right here. And you don't want anything that's out of the ordinary when it comes to 3D printing. So there you go.